Tons of rejection. A difficult divorce. His comedy hero disgraced. Keenan Thompson brings the laughs on TV, but he's gone through some tough times in his life. Keep watching to learn about the difficulties this funny man has endured over the years. Keenan's mother, Ann Thompson, noticed that her son had a knack for entertaining when he was five years old. Before long, she was making big sacrifices for her son's career. Ann would work a full week at her nursing job, weekends included, so she could take the following week off to help her son pursue his dream. Still, scraping together the money they needed for the VHS cassettes Keenan used to showcase his skills was tough. The Daily Pennsylvanian quoted Keenan as saying at a 2017 event, When they asked me to send them another tape, I was like, I can't afford all these tapes. By the time Keenan landed his first role in a commercial, he'd been rejected around a hundred times, according to the Washington Post. He described the ad for a fried chicken restaurant as super racist in an interview with Vanity Fair, but he was excited to be paid for it. He would continue to experience money woes even when his career really began taking off. Keenan told the Big Stage podcast, I had a bad accountant growing up, you know, someone who kind of like sweet-talked my mother into a situation of controlling my ended up burning me severely. Keenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell were one of Nickelodeon's most beloved duos. They immediately clicked on all that, and the pals played off each other so well that they scored their own sitcom, Keenan and Kel, as well as the 1997 movie, Good Burger. Keenan and I, they put us in every sketch together because Keenan and I would always like hang out after a sketch, after a show. Over time, the friends would lose touch. In 2012, Mitchell told TMZ, The truth is, Keenan does not want to be seen with me in any form of media, or even have my name mentioned around him. Mitchell speculated that Thompson was keeping his distance because he didn't want to be viewed as a part of a package deal. Thompson seemed to confirm that in a 2018 interview with The Breakfast Club. People were trying to lump us together so much after the show. We kind of wanted to just show everybody there's a Keenan Thompson and there's a Kale Mitchell. Thompson would eventually reach out to Mitchell, and if there was any beef between the two, they turned it into a good burger. Thompson updated fans on their relationship in 2017, telling the Huffington Post, we call each other and text each other all the time. Thompson didn't have a direct line from Nickelodeon to Saturday Night Live. He endured a lot of rejection first. He told Vanity Fair, I kept sending tapes when I first left Nickelodeon and was like, I would like to graduate now. And they'd say, you look a little young. Check back with us. The actor also spent a lot of time trying to convince casting directors that he was ready to work on projects that weren't aimed at kids. Thompson explained to Variety, I was just surviving, one of the millions of people out here in Los Angeles that are paying their bills however they can. When Thompson finally got a chance to audition for Saturday Night Live, he was asked to perform a stand-up routine, despite having no background in stand-up. It didn't go well, he told Vanity Fair, but luckily he got another chance and landed a spot on the show. Even after Thompson joined the cast, it wasn't all smooth sailing. In an interview with The Washington Post, he recalled how he had to hide a broken arm from the SNL audience in 2015. He said, You kind of don't have permission to not be perfect. In 2013, Thompson got blasted for what he told TV Guide about the lack of black women in the Saturday Night Live cast. He said, They just never find ones that are ready. Leslie Jones, who would join the SNL cast the following year, was one of the comics who was offended by Thompson's words. Jones told The New Yorker that she recalled saying, He should come battle me. Give me 10 minutes and I'll ruin his life. In 2021, Thompson told Variety that his critics had misunderstood him. He wasn't saying black women weren't funny. He meant that there needed to be more opportunities for black women to better prepare for SNL. Why would I bring my sisters down like that? You know what I'm saying? My queens. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why would I ever do something so crazy and drastic. Thompson and Jones thankfully worked things out after she joined SNL. Thompson said, She just became my sister immediately. In April 2022, Keenan Thompson and actor Christina Evangeline announced that they were getting divorced. The couple had been married for 11 years and share two daughters, Georgia and Gianna. An insider told Us Weekly, they really just grew apart and wanted different things. There's nothing juicy about why they split. The couple reportedly separated at the end of 2020, but Thompson spoke to Parade in January 2022 as if they were still together. He was promoting his sitcom Keenan, in which he played a widower. In light of his divorce, the way Thompson described the show takes on a new meaning. He said, It's only me imagining how heartbreaking it would be to be in that situation to lose my best friend. On the Jamel Hill is Unbothered podcast, Thompson spoke about his ex's reaction to the sitcom. He recalled her saying, So I'm just dead. According to the Washington Post, when Thompson auditioned for All That, he impressed the producers by nailing an impression of Bill Cosby. 
Thompson would later spoof Cosby on Saturday Night Live several times. When dozens of women came forward and accused Cosby of drugging and sexually assaulting them, Thompson was devastated. Deadline quoted him as saying at the New Yorker Festival in 2019, "'It's one of the more heartbreaking things of my life. He was the first comedian I grew to know." Thompson actually starred in a project that Cosby co-wrote and produced, the 2004 Fat Albert movie. Thompson told NPR, "'It felt gross to be in such a close proximity to that. I was still proud of the movie, but definitely kind of devastated that it had this, you know, shadow around it now." Thompson revealed that he once aspired to have a similar career to Cosby, elaborating, "'I felt super betrayed for being such a big fan and, you know, idolizing somebody who was, you know, entrenched in what they were entrenched in.'" If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673.